Hey everybody, today I would like to share with you an OKW build order using one of my favorite commanders in the game, that would be Scavenge, which I also think is one of the most underrated commanders and underutilized commanders. This is a fun build that I think is quite uh, surprising without being overtly cheesy, and I get a lot of enjoyment out of playing it, both in 1v1s and 2v2s. Although I don't recommend using it in larger team games, I think something like Overwatch will give you a lot more success in 3v3s and 4v4s. Taking a quick look at the commander here, we get the Oswind, which is one of the best anti-infantry tanks in the game, as well as anti-air. We get Thorough Scavenge, which allows you to get munitions in addition to fuel when salvaging vehicles and team weapons, and also will um, give you access to the repair kits on your Volkskrans. We also get Jaeger Light Infantry, which are one of the earliest and uh, strongest elite infantry units in the game, especially at long range. We get Infiltration Tactics, which give you the uh, Assault Grenade Package. And we get Howitzer Barrage, which is quite expensive and a little bit underwhelming, although it can be useful in certain situations. When I intend on playing with Scavenge, I also like to include Overwatch in my roster of commanders. This is because when I choose Eager Light Infantry early on in the game, I don't want to immediately give away that I've chosen Scavenge, in which case my opponent will maybe suspect an early Ostwind. For the same reason, I try to avoid using the Infiltration Tactics Grenades for the first few minutes of the game. Looking at the early game build order now, after our starting Storm Pioneers, we want to build a Kubel Wagon and then two Volksgrenadiers. You can play around with the build order that you prefer here the most. Sometimes I like to go one squad of Volks, then the Kubel, and the second squad of Volks. After that, we want to build the SWS half track. Then, if we have one command point, we can build the Jaeger Light Infantry squad. However, sometimes if the start of the game is quite slow, you can start to upgrade your SWS half track to Battle Grupa before you have that one command point. And then when it's done, you should have one command point, and you should be able to call in your Jaeger Lights. If you're being terrorized by a Universal Carrier or a Scout car, you might want to consider building a Rocket Morpher at some point at this early game so that you can avoid bleeding too much manpower and slowing down your tech. In the early game, you want to use your Storm Pioneers to wire off as much of the enemy's cover as possible, and you want to use your Volksgrens to place sandbags in a position that will be advantageous to you without benefiting the enemy. Of course, you can also wire off your own sandbags with your Storm Pioneers, and then you can put them in any location you really want. Use your Kubel Wagon to safely bleed the enemy's manpower without risking any manpower loss yourself. The Kubel can also capture territory faster than your infantry can. Don't be too aggressive during this early game, as stalling for those Jaeger Lights is going to mean that the enemy will probably have more infantry on the field than you do. Instead, focus on just doing manpower damage and bleeding as little as possible while holding perhaps one fuel and one star. The mid game here is pretty minimal. All you need to do is build your battle group headquarters, upgrade it with the mechanized ability, and also medics. Then you want to get a second squad of Jaeger Lights, a Rocket Morpher, and then finally build your SWS supply half track. In the mid game, you want to make sure you get your upgrades on your Jaeger Lights first. Give them that G43, which gives them the snipe ability, which will snipe units that are already wounded, finishing them off and making the Jaeger Lights one of the most efficient long-range units in the game. Jaeger Lights, however, are extremely expensive to reinforce. This means that you want to use your Volksgrens to take the brunt of the enemy attacks and use your Lights to punish the enemy who are killing your Volksgrens. Don't be afraid to retreat, even with full health squads, if you think you're going to lose more manpower than your enemy will. Use your Raketon to deter any enemy light vehicles, and don't forget to put down mines as much as possible. At Veteran C1, your Kubel has access to the very powerful Detect ability, which reveals enemies on your minimap. In the late game, the first thing you want to do is build your Schwerer Panzer headquarters in a safe location. Do not upgrade it with Panzer authorization yet, you don't need it. Then you want to build the Ostwind. The timing of this is very important and you want it to come out as soon as possible. Ideally this would be about 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit earlier. At the very latest this should be at about 15 minutes, depending on how bad or good your fuel control was throughout the game. After you get the Ostwind out, you want to get another Rocket Morpher, and then upgrade your Schwerer with the Panzer authorization. At this point in the game, you can really go with whatever you need. I generally recommend going for the Panzer IV. It's an all-around great tank, and it's never a bad choice. Um, the Panther could also be useful if you're struggling with enemy heavies, 
You may also consider building a infantry gun or an MG at this point if you're struggling with blobs or you need some indirect fire. Because we're not going to immediately upgrade our Schwer with Panzer authorization, it really needs to be placed in a safe location, maybe only covering a single territory point or even in the base, especially against Brits who have a million ways to destroy a Schwer. Once you get your awesome on the field, you want to immediately start using it to terrorize the enemy's infantry. The enemy probably is not expecting to see a tank this early from OKW, and so they may have little to no AT ready to deal with it. Don't forget that the scavenge doctrine allows you to upgrade your Volksrenders with repair kits. This allows you to repair your Osman very quickly, and give it more uptime on the battlefield. The Osman is a very frustrating unit that will often make your enemies take unnecessary risks in order to try to take it out. Make sure to keep your guns close to it at all times, and punish any medium tank that tries to dive it. Use your Oswin in conjunction with any other tanks you built to make two-pronged attacks. Send your main tank in at the front of the enemy, while sending your Oswin in around the side to take out any AT guns quickly. The Combat Blitz ability, unlocked in Veteran C1, can make your Oswin much more effective at doing these kind of attacks. And don't forget to use your Jaeger Lights or Volksradeers to use the Salvage ability on any team weapons that are left over. I want to say thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. And I hope this build is useful to some of you, and I hope that you try out Scavenge in some of your games. If you do, please let me know how this works out for you, and if you have any feedback or other Scavenge build orders you like to do, also please let me know in the comments. Good luck in your games, and I'll see you next time.